today I'm going to be doing a demonstration using ink tents, blocks, and pencils. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. Today I am demonstrating this octopus with two little chickadees in a tree using ink tents. The supplies that I've used are listed below in the video description. If you've not seen it already, check out my first review using these where I show you exactly how I'm mixing water with a paintbrush to use the ink tents blocks. If you are supporters over on Patreon, the one hour version of this tutorial is available for you now, so make sure to head over and check that out. Now onto this tutorial. I've started by blocking in my subjects with Windsor and Newton masking fluid. I'll have a card pop up here. You can check that out if you don't know how to use that. I've painted in my first layer. I dried it with a hairdryer, which pulled the paper back into shape. And now I'm adding additional layers of the same color with a little bit less water so that it's darker. If you want it darker, use less water. If you want that color to be lighter, use more water. I'm now painting in circles. I'm using the Inktense white block. Make sure to check out my first tutorial showing you how I mix the ink with the water and the brush in order to paint this on there. But I'm painting all these circles. Now when you paint the white, be aware it dries much more opaque than it looks when you paint it on. Now I'm just going over that. Once it dried, I go over that with different shades of green. I'm not worried about staying inside the lines. It really doesn't matter here. Now one thing that makes this medium very, very different from every other medium that I work in is when I get to where I'm working on the details, I am going to block in my darkest areas first and then glaze color over it. So here I'm just glazing green over that to tone the background down. Now I've removed my masking fluid and look how I'm lining my tree first with the black. This is still being done with a paintbrush and the Inktense block. Once I get the black in, I can go over and add detail on top, but the black still shows through because most of these colors are fairly translucent. If I go too dark, no big deal. I'm just gonna use the white ink tense block, mix my mixture of water, and then apply it directly with the brush to any area that I need to lighten up or cover if I did go too dark. So it's very, very forgiving. Blocking in the rest of my branches here. I want to make sure that those have different shapes. I don't want them all perfectly straight or it won't look natural. You want a slightly shaky hand for that. Now onto the octopus. Look how I'm drawing in all of my detail. I'm using a dark purple here and this is going to get toned down quite a bit, but it's still going to create a nice texture under the colors that I'm going to place on top. But with ink tense, this is like what I was talking about with the branches where it seems to work better if you block in your outlines first so backwards for how you'll normally see me work with any other medium. So I'm getting all these little shapes in here for the texture. I'm going to do the same thing for all of his tentacles. Lots of little detail. I'm using a small round brush for this. Remember, if you want thicker lines, push harder with your brush. Thinner lines, you're barely gonna let the tip of that brush touch the paper. And I generally recommend using a brush that has longer bristles. The very, very short bristled brushes may seem like they're gonna give you more detail, but they are not. You want these longer, like an inch thick or more, or I should say an inch longer or more, will give you finer detail. So once that dried completely, and it's important to dry it, otherwise I just smudge all the detail I did, I can glaze other colors on top. And you can glaze and add additional colors as much as you want. There is no limit here. You're not gonna hit a point where the paper's not taking more color or anything like that. I'm using the pencil now to come through for smaller details. And I can apply the pencil directly to the paper and if I want to blend that out with water, I just use a clean brush with water and it'll blend out really nicely. just refining all of these little details and I'm going back and forth at this point between my pencils and the blocks with the paintbrush. Now the white ink tense pencil is not going to get your colors quite as opaque as painting it with the the ink tense block and a paintbrush and water but it still will lighten things up and give you a nice look. I'm 
because you can blend so many colors with this, it is a, a situation where you can get the smaller set of like 12 ink tense blocks and get a really good feel for what the medium is going to be like. So you can decide if you like it or not before you buy the full set. Most mediums I wouldn't say that with, or at least not with colored pencil. I always want more colors, but with this, you can mix so many colors so easily on your palette before you ever touch the paper. And I recommend always have a scratch piece of paper next to you because these colors do not look the same as they're marked on a lot of the pencils. So you always wanna test it and add water on that paper to find out for sure what that color is going to look like, or if you're mixing colors, find out before you touch your paper. Defining these leaves a bit better. You can see I've added my darker areas with a pencil and now I'm blending that out with water. The paper that I'm using here is very, very thick, so it doesn't warp too badly. But it, when it does, when I've used a lot of water, I just go back over it with a hairdryer. You can see I've taped it all the way around the edges. And so coming back on top with a hairdryer, we'll pull it back into shape. Now I'm starting to add this teal or turquoise blue color to a lot of this, but it's not bright enough. So once I add my first layers with that, I'm going to let it dry and I'll come back on top with part on part of the octopus and the tree and leaves to really make that turquoise color pop. I want that to be very, very bright. So it's going to take a few layers of adding white and then adding the turquoise to get it bright enough for me. Now the octopus, it just seems kind of dull. So I'm going back in between some of these little sections that I previously did with a very bright orange and a liner brush. Just getting some little details in there. You can see very, very fun medium if you like to do a lot of layers and adjust things as you go. It's not something that you have to have everything perfectly planned out because you can cover areas if you didn't like them and you can keep on layering. See, I'm defining the white even better. I'm going to let that dry, and now I can come on top with the turquoise color, and it's going to just glow. So onto the chickadees. I'm sketching everything out with black first and a little liner brush. Even the little wispy feathers. I'm not trying to make this look super realistic. I'm going pretty loose on this piece. or sketchy, I don't think loose is the right word there. There I go with that brighter turquoise color over the white now that it is dried and you can see it's really bright now. And all of these colors are going to dry a little bit different than what they look like when they're wet. So this is another reason you wanna test it out on your scratch piece of paper first so you have an idea of what that'll look like. Now I'm putting color over all those little black details I had done on the chickadees. And you can still see some of those little wisps that I had painted, but they're very subtle now. And that is it for this guy. Now I am planning another ink tense demonstration that will come up in a few weeks, maybe a month or so, that will be much, much more realistic than this. So it'll show how versatile this medium is. You can get so many looks from it. Thanks for watching. Again, if you are supporters over on Patreon, the one hour version of this tutorial is available for you now, so make sure to head over and check that out. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, our Q&A videos every Thursday, and artist vlogs each Saturday. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, all of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see your whole time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lisa, why is there an octopus in the tree? I don't know. He climbed up there. Ask him.